Hello everyone. Okay, so we've just released a new component on Kodi House, uh, which is the responsive sidebar component. And I want to show you how this works. So this is a behavioral component, which means that it takes care of how things work, but it doesn't contain any content because you can add the content to this component. So this is uh, a preview of the responsive sidebar. If we resize the window, you can see that on the bigger screens, you have the sidebar over here. But if we reduce the window, the sidebar disappears and now we have a button. And when you click on the button, you trigger the animation of the sidebar. All right, so let me show you how you can add content to this component. So I have a new project uh, based on the Kodi frame, of course. And uh, so we can just go and grab the HTML of the sidebar component and paste it here. Now, as you can see, we have the button, the trigger, and then we have the sidebar right here. And then we have some main content, some placeholder uh, for the main content. All right, let, let me save. So just uh, to let you know, I have already included the CSS of the component, responsive sidebar, it's over here, and also of another Kodi House component that I'm going to show to you in a second. We have uh, included the JavaScript as well in the JS folder of both these components. So in this example, I want to include a side navigation into my sidebar. So when we first released this component, many of you uh, asked us why we were not including a responsive version of this uh, of this uh, side navigation because as you can see when you resize the window you don't have any uh, change in the behavior of the component and that's because we um, we didn't really know um, what, what other elements you were gonna include in a sidebar so it's not just uh, this navigation you may include for example buttons over here something above the side the navigation as well. So we decided to go for this um, set of behavioral components where you can uh, compose contents as if they were pieces of uh, Lego pieces, let's say. So uh, we can copy the HTML of this uh, um, side the navigation, go back to our project. And uh, right here where we have start sidebar content and sidebar content content, we can just paste the side navigation. Now, if you check the code, you will see that this element here, the aside, is actually just for demo purpose. So the uh, component we want to include is just the side nav, this one. So we can just remove this and this, and here we go. Now, if we go back to our project, as you can see, we have the responsive uh, sidebar that works in combination with the side navigation. So here is the side navigation. You can resize the window. And now when you click on show sidebar, you have the side navigation inside the responsive uh, sidebar. And that's really nice. And uh, to customize the way this component works, you have access to, first of all, you have a set of uh, CSS custom properties over here. Uh, that you can use to set the width, max width of the overflow variation of the component. Uh, and you have um, other, um, other custom properties for the static variation. The static variation is this one. Also, and this is something we think is really useful, um, you can decide the, the breakpoint which determines the, the change in layout by using one of these sidebar static at breakpoint variations. So you're not limited to changing the behavior on the medium breakpoint, you can change this to small, for example. And if you do so, remember to change also the uh, hide class, which hides the button. So small here as well. And in this case, uh, in this example, I'm using a flex at md uh, utility class of the Kodi House framework as well, because we want to change the layout uh, when the sidebar becomes static. So I'm going to change this one to uh, sm as well. So when you when you do so, now the um, let's say the change layout happens before at the small breakpoint of the framework. 
So I believe that's all. If you have questions, just let me know. And thanks for watching.